Now for our story of Just Plain Bill. Nancy Donovan, Bill Davidson's beloved daughter, and her small son, Wiki, are living with Bill at his barber shop since Carrie, Nancy's husband, has gone to China to clear up an old scandal about his mother, Kathleen. Kathleen, with her wealthy husband, Henry Chatham, left Hartville, bordering on a nervous breakdown after Bill exposed the fact that she was being blackmailed by Fred Trosdale concerning this scandal in her past life, and Henry asked Carrie to go to Shanghai to clear his mother's name. Meanwhile, Nancy discovers that Bill is keeping a secret from her. And now, Nancy, hoping to obtain some clue to the secret, calls to Johnny Jameson, the orphan boy whom Bill has helped so much recently. Johnny? Johnny Jameson? Yes, Mrs. Donovan? Johnny, have you seen my father? I know, Mrs. Donovan, not for a while. Do you want me to try and find him for you? Johnny, will you tell me something, very honestly? Well, why, sure, if I can. You talk with my father quite a lot. You see as much of him as I do. I sure do. Have you... Have you noticed anything different about him lately? Well, how do you mean, Mrs. Donovan? Well, does my father seem really well to you lately? Well, why, yes. He says he never felt better in his life, and he certainly doesn't act as though he's sick. He gets around so much, and he's always doing something. Why? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being silly, worrying for no earthly reason at all. You're, you're worried about your father? Yes, Johnny, I am. I can't tell you exactly why, but I am. Well, gee, Mrs. Donovan, Bill's been a mighty busy man lately with everything that's been happening. All that trouble about that fellow Fred Truesdale and Bill catching him with the money he'd stolen. Maybe Bill's a bit tired, but outside of that, I... Then you haven't noticed anything wrong? Not a thing. And he hasn't said anything to you about, well, about anything he wants to keep me from knowing? Johnny, you'd be loyal to my father, I know... But he does keep things from me sometimes because he doesn't want to worry me. Now that Carrie's away and Wiki and I are alone, he might feel he has even more reason for not wanting to worry me. Mrs. Donovan, I, I don't know anything. There's nobody bothering him that you know of? Well, I'd punch anybody in the nose that did. I know you would. All right, Johnny. Thank you. You don't have to thank me, Mrs. Donovan. Oh, yes, I do. You've convinced me I'm imagining things about Daddy. So now I'll stop. Or try to. You know, Bill getting Henry Chatham to let me put in a garden on this property back of the barber shop while he and Mrs. Chatham are away is, is one of the swellest things he ever did. One of many, Johnny. Daddy's like that. Well, don't I know it. Well, I, I'd better be getting back to the barber shop. I'll see you later, Johnny. All right, Mrs. Donovan, sure. It's funny. The thing wrong with Bill. Women can notice these things sometimes quicker than men, but... Gee, I don't know. Oh, Johnny... Oh. Oh, it's you, Bill. You, you startled me for a minute. Hey, come over here, Johnny. Sure, Bill. Uh, what's the matter? Uh, you were just talking to Nancy. Yes, I was. She, she was asking me about you, Bill. Yes, I heard what she asked you. Uh, I came along and heard Nancy's voice and stopped here, and then I listened and didn't let her know I was here. Uh, but I had a reason, you see. Yes, I, I guess you must have. Nancy thinks there's something the matter with me, doesn't she, Johnny? She seems to, but... Then she said she guessed you must be wrong when I said I hadn't noticed anything. Bill, there isn't, is there? Well, ask no questions, Johnny, please. But if you're really sick or something, Nancy ought to know. Nancy isn't to be worried about me, whatever happens. Especially now that Carrie's away. I know how you feel, but still just the same. Oh, no, I'm not sick. I mean it, Johnny. And I'm not in trouble. And nobody's bothering me. Nobody. I mean it. Then, well, if you just tell us so, Bill... Well, I intend doing that. Uh, I didn't realize how worried she was till I heard her just now. Uh, meanwhile, Johnny... Yes, Bill? Any time Nancy asks you if you think I'm sick or in trouble or anything, you tell her you're positive that I'm not. Will you do that for me? i sure. If, it, if it's so, why shouldn't I? Uh, you see, Johnny, Terry Donovan's a world away in China. And he may be gone a good long time. But I, I thought Mr. Chatham said he expected Kara to be home again in a couple of weeks. Well, that may be. I hope so. But I'm not counting on it too much. Uh, meanwhile, Nancy's naturally worrying about him. And being so far away in a war-torn country, you understand. Yes. That's bad enough. So we don't want to make it any worse. Do we, Johnny? Well, well I know only... Well, when Nancy asked oh, me... Oh, I... you did fine. If you relieved her mind, and I'm hoping you did stop her worrying about me, you did Nancy and me a great favor. Uh, but if she starts asking you questions again, uh, say the same and more of it, will you? As a personal favor to me? 
Why, sure, Bill, if you say so. Oh, thank you, Johnny. And now I've got to go and talk to Nancy. All right, Bill. See you later. Uh, too bad to take advantage of the boy. But it has to be done. Yes, and I've got to do more than that, too. I've got to. Oh, yes, Nancy. Daddy, the telegraph office just called. There's a cablegram from Carrie. From Carrie? Yes. Oh, that's fine. Now, what does he say? He says everything is fine. He's staying at the Grand Palace Hotel in Shanghai, and he doesn't think it will take more than a few days to finish things and start back home. Oh, that's wonderful, Nancy. Oh, I'm so glad. And I guess you know how glad I am. I've been thinking, oh, such silly things since he's been gone. First, that the clipper ship might get lost in the ocean, and then after we heard he'd arrived safely, that he might be hurt among all the bombing and everything. Yes, but now that you know Carrie's all right, you can stop thinking such things, can't you, Nancy? Yes, but, oh, I'll feel better when I get another cablegram saying he's on his way home, and still better when I get a telegram saying he's landed at San Francisco, and better still when I meet the train and there he is. Oh, Daddy, I hate having Carrie away like this. Oh, I know, Nancy. And yet I suppose I shouldn't. He's gone to China to set his mother's affairs in order, and wipe out the things she did in the past. Well, let's hope he does it quick, and that when he gets back from this trip, he won't have to take another for a long, long time. Oh, there's the phone. I'll go answer Oh, uh, you better let me, Nancy. I mean... Uh, what, Daddy? Why, uh, oh, nothing, nothing at all, uh, except I'm sort of expecting a call. It might be more news about Carrie. Hello? Bill Davidson's barbershop. Oh, yes, he's right here. You were right, Daddy. It is for you. A long-distance call from Hiawatha. Oh, from Hiawatha. Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, hello? Uh, yes, this is Bill Davidson. Uh, why, yes, sir, I can do that. Uh, yes, sir, I'll be there. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, goodbye. Uh, uh, oh, operator, uh, uh, give me Monty Barton's garage, please. Who was it, Daddy? Why, uh, uh, just a man. I have to see about some business, Nancy. Business? Uh, yes. Uh, now I have to talk to Monty at the garage. But, but Daddy, what business have you got in Hiawatha? Uh, hello? Uh, Monty Barton there? Uh, this is Bill Davidson calling. Uh, yes, I'll hold the line. Daddy, you act so mysterious. Oh. <laughs> uh, just my way, Nancy. Uh, you ought to be used to it by now and know it's nothing to worry about. Uh, hello, Monty. Uh, this is Bill. Uh, I will want that rented car I spoke to you about tomorrow morning early. Uh, yes. Oh, well, thank you. What's that? Oh, yes. Uh, we just got a cablegram. Uh, Carrie's in Shanghai, safe and sound. We'll be home soon. Uh, yes. Uh, goodbye now, Monty. Daddy, are you going to hire Walter tomorrow? Uh, well, uh, I told you, Nancy, uh, a little business deal... Uh, man, I've got to see about something, that's all. Well, couldn't we go with you, Wiki and I? Why, gosh, Nancy... Wiki uh... loves to go riding in a car, and he doesn't have very many chances. And I might do some shopping in Hiawatha myself. Things I can't get in the stores here in Hartville. Well, I, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid it wouldn't work out very well this time. We wouldn't get in the way. Oh, I know you wouldn't. Uh, but you see, uh, what I've got to do... Uh... All right, Daddy. Oh, it... It isn't that I don't want you and Wiki along. Why, that'd be wonderful. I tell you, we'll take a ride some other time. Maybe a picnic. Just the three of us. But this meeting I've got tomorrow, will you see it? I'm sorry, Daddy. I shouldn't have asked. Oh, no. Nancy, you know I'd be glad to have you and Wiki along if I could. I just can't. All right, Daddy. Maybe I'd better go and attend to Wiki. Hello? Uh, Bill Davidson's Barbershop. Uh, what's that? Oh, Nancy. Yes, Daddy? Uh, it's the telegraph office calling. Another cable from Carrie? Uh, yes. Uh, all right, I'm listening. Uh, read it, please. Yes? Yes? Go on. Oh, is that all? I see. Well, thank you. I'll come and get the copy of the message later. And no, no answer right now. And goodbye. What is it, Daddy? Well, it's not very good news, Nancy. It's about Carrie. What's happened? Oh, nothing's happened, exactly. It's just that Carrie wants me to get in touch with Henry Chatham. 
course, Carrie doesn't know about his mother and Henry leaving for her to go to the sanitarium. But what did Carrie say? Fred Truesdale's been seen by the police in Shanghai. Fred Truesdale in Shanghai? Yes, Nancy. You know, he got away from the officer taking him back to China to be tried. But he went back to China just the same. Well, didn't they arrest him? Well, Shanghai's a big place. And a swindler and blackmailer like Truesdale would know all the best places to hide. Well, then Carrie's in danger. Truesdale might find out Carrie's there and he might try to to stop him in what he's doing. Oh, no, Nancy. But he's in Shanghai, a foreign city, a place where anything might happen. And Truesdale, a blackmailer and murderer, is there too. Oh, no, Nancy. I, I didn't want to tell you about this, but I had to. But please don't be afraid anything will happen to Carrie. They'll catch Fred Truesdale. They're bound to. And we'll hear from Carrie again soon. Why did I let him go? Why did I ever let Carrie go to Shanghai? Oh, Daddy, somehow I'm afraid. Afraid. <laughs> 